<laughs> so my dad's here. This is our tradition. Uh, he's been getting like mud masks on his legs and such. <laughs> and then my mom's here. And then Jade, say hello. <gasps> so everything's been going good. And it's just funny, like it's here. <gasps> so um, we like to just relax together as a fam before we get in the middle of all this craziness. Jade, do you have anything to say after last night? After last night? <laughs> so last night, I, I didn't have my vlog camera, but we went to Olea's to pick up the dresses and the lady with the dresses was nowhere to be found. Okay. Nowhere, for three hours. So they found her. She'd gone home to feed her cat and she locked herself out of the, um, locked herself out of the house and her cell phone had died. Luckily she hadn't died. That's what they were thinking. So it was crazy. <laughs> but we got the dresses and now we're ready. Okay, I just realized I need to show you some of this wedding stuff before I gift it to people and I can't show it to you. So getting ready for wedding stuff and gifting has always like been my thing and I love like writing long cards to people and getting special gifts. So obviously on my wedding I'm clearly gonna do that. So I spent so much time thinking, what am I going to get my bridesmaids? And I got them the most perfect gift ever. So they're these beautiful 14 karat gold and diamond necklaces. You can get like a bunch of different mediums, whether you want gold, or I think you can get gold plated, or you can get um, white gold, or even, I think maybe even sterling. So that, But I got the 14 karat gold and the diamond. So I got the first letter of all their names. I wrote them these beautiful cards. And so I've got Thea's little T, I've got Alden's little A, and they're teeny tiny and just so precious. It doesn't matter anyone's taste, like, everyone will love these. Oh, this is mod about you, nail polish. And then Danielle has the little D, and then Sean has the little S. And I am just, this is the most perfect bridesmaid gift. Yes, it is a splurge, but a Jen Zuner piece is a piece that you're gonna have for the rest of your life. So I'm gonna put them in these little tiny bags. And then another thing, so I just ordered these white hangers off of Amazon. A lot of times people will overpay on like Etsy getting these things, but I just had Matting take a gold paint pen or a gold Sharpie and write their names right there for their robes. So these are from Plum Pretty Sugar and I didn't want the plain little silk robes like everybody does, so I got these. Another thing I wanna show you, cause I don't know if like we'll make it out of the reception with this. So Agata Maria Couture, is who did my flower girl dress and you guys, you will literally die over their stuff. So they also did these beautiful garters for me. They're out of the United Kingdom, but they do the most beautiful like handmade custom stuff. It's not crazy outrageous. I've, I had such a tough time finding beautiful garters. And look at these. So um, I'll link them below, but this, these are the most beautiful garters I've ever seen. I got one to wear and then one to keep. And there's this jewelry store that I've been talking to you guys about um, called Grogan's. I, I, I'll link them below, but it's Grogan's Jewelers. And they have the most beautiful stuff and they can make custom things like really quickly. So here's what I got my mom. So I'm gonna write in her card. Here's her card. I got this card at Paper Source. A note to my mother on my wedding day. So then I got her this beautiful bracelet, hand done. So it's a it's a rose gold piece, a really thick rose gold bar with diamonds, tiny diamonds. And then, I don't know if you can see that or if it's gonna focus or not, but I got Grammy engraved on it. And I'm gonna say in my card, like just so that Grammy can be with us on this special day. So my mom's not really like a, you know, she buys the jewelry that she wants, so she's really hard to buy for. But, you know, I went the sentimental route and got this beautiful piece. So, um, I'm just so excited to give it to her because I know she's going to cry. It's just going to be so exciting. So, um, and then my dad's gift Madding still has because she's picking it up. But I did him a picture of us in Amazing Race in a frame. And then I got a big, um yellow bandana because we did amazing race and we were team yellow and it says embroidered on it team yellow forever i love you dad so it's real special so i just want to let you guys kind of in on some of the gifts that i got from my peeps and then lastly so 
I think you should always give your flower girl and your ring bear like tons and tons of little cute kid, little kids gifts. So I got my flower girl this big bucket of stuff. So they have these little books on Amazon. The most special flower girl, Pinkalicious flower girl guide. Like all these cute little stamps, a little tiara. Then I got her a real, I actually got my little flower girl basket off of Amazon. And then I got her one to keep and play with. It's been the best little relaxing day. So I've just been getting like last minute stuff done. And then we had a little lunch at the Omni, which is um, the hotel is connected to Country Music Hall of Fame. And like became so real. And then I just spent um, the morning in the spa um, doing, thank you in the spa doing massages with my mom and my sister. It's kind of like a tradition, even though like we just did it for my sisters and mine, so it's a two-person tradition. <laughs> um, and now I want to take you guys into this. So this is two days before my wedding. Um, I just did a little hydrofacial, which is like a quick version of a facial. I'm going to do a full video on that um, after the honeymoon's over. But I wanted to show you this. So this is a CO2 facial lift is what I'm about to do. So a lot of people that are really nervous to get like a facial or really nervous to get a peel or something like that, but they really want that dewy, glowing, luminous skin, but they don't want the chance of like breaking out and stuff like that. Apparently this is like a miracle facial. So apparently all the stars get this before a red carpet event. A lot of people get it before weddings. It's um, basically, it's like, you know, it makes your, your skin like produce oxygen, like tricks it. And apparently, and it lasts like, you know, five days ish. And they call it like the Cinderella facial or something like that here because like the results, it's not like a long lasting result, but for an event, apparently it's, there's nothing like it. So I want to take you guys through this process. They put this like gelatin like mixture on there. You sit really, really still for an hour. Apparently it helps like plump your skin up. So all that crepiness is gone. Like those dark circles are gone. And then you have this dewy, glowy, like luminosity which I need. So of course I'm here at Dr. Basman's office again. This is where I got my cool sculpting done and I was uh, taking cool sculpting pictures today and I was like, do you think I can do anything like for my under eye bags and just to kind of look fresh? And they were like, have you ever heard of this facial? So I hadn't heard and then when I heard, I was like, can you sign me up at three o'clock? So here I am. So uh, yeah, CO2 lift, here we go. Okay, so Tammy's peeling it off now. It's been on for an hour. But it's just like kind of you keep your face frozen like that. It's like a miracle apparently. beauty treatments today and I'm feeling great. Don't worry, my face is only purple from the lighting. From Broadway. It hurts so bad. I like it. <laughs> I never had a massage that deep. Oh, man. She said, take it to the torture chamber. Oh, it was my torture. So, uh, I keep having to update you because everyone else keeps showing up. All the cousins, and all the siblings, and it's just so fun. Yeah. <laughs> So here we are um, backstage at Country Music Hall of Fame and I'm sure we're about to get in trouble. Kyle wanted to show Michael the room. Okay. <laughs> It's Friday! I will no makeup. My skin's glowing from the 955 beauty treatments that I had done yesterday. And I'm headed to try my dress for the last time. Dresses. And then I'm headed to the Omni so my whole family and like all our people are like partying by the pool. It's just so exciting to be in the middle of something like this is like the biggest weekend of our lives and it's here and I'm just, I couldn't be more excited and happy and like it's all the excitement of all the Christmases mixed with like all the peace and calm of all the best church homilies you've ever heard mixed with like ah! <laughs> I'm just so excited so I'm gonna try and remember all that I can uh, to bring this camera along and take you guys behind the scenes for my wedding weekend thank you guys so much for following along this whole journey of Kyle and I getting engaged and just all this wedding planning it's just been such a joy so I'm so excited to share this part with everyone too and just to 
have this weekend. I'm just so grateful today. So, peace out. Well, these are a bunch of the wedding guests, obviously, you'll recognize. Say hi. Say hi. Hola. Matting is the lifeguard. <laughs> well, sorry with all this lighting and crazy. stuff. It's our rehearsal dinner. We're so excited. Okay, good. They're caught up. We're on our way to Christ the King right now, and we've been at the pool all day. I just can't even believe that it's here. So I have on this beautiful Olia Zabazina. It's actually the top to a wedding dress, a beaded top, a little corset, and then straight white pants. And this is my groom. <laughs> I've got and we're so shirt. excited. <laughs> so we're headed here and then we're going to Ariel tonight. After all the rehearsal dinner like blunders. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. It's the best weather ever. I mean it's hot, but like it was supposed to rain like 50% chance and the Lord helps us out and it is gorgeous. Thank <laughs> you. 